Cryptography, the art and science of secure communication in the presence of adversaries, has been around for thousands of years. One of the earliest instantiations of cryptography, the hieroglyphs, can be traced back to 1900 BC in Egypt. Although hieroglyphs are not the best example of secret communication, they can be considered as the first attempt at mystery surrounding communication. In 486 BC Greece, the Spartans used cytales to send sensitive messages during times of battle. Both the sender and the receiver had identical wooden rods so that when they wound the leather containing the letters around it, it revealed the correct message. Caesar's cipher, a simple shift encryption technique, was invented around 60 BC. The ciphertext is obtained by shifting each letter down the alphabet by the same number. Once you know how encryption works, this cipher is easy to break. Just try all possible shift values based on the current alphabet. For example, it would take 26 attempts to break the encryption of a text written in English. In 1797, Thomas Jefferson created a wheel which consisted of 16 cylindrical wooden pieces with letters. The recipient had to look for the one line of letters that would make sense by scrambling and unscrambling the words. This cipher can be brute forced by hand, given sufficient time and is of course no longer secure in the era of computers. In 1918, Arthur Schurtius invented one of the most famous cryptographic machines in the world, the Enigma machine. It consisted of alternating mechanical parts that produced varying electrical circuits so the secret key was connected to a unique electric pathway. All in all, it is the polyalphabetic substitution cipher which made Enigma's security extraordinary. However, in 1943, one of the greatest mathematicians in the area of cryptography, Alan Turing, designed the BOMB, an extremely sophisticated ciphering machine which was used to break Enigma. Looking back at this journey, we can see how the evolution of cryptography is driven forward through a sort of cat and mouse game. Each time an encryption algorithm is compromised, a new one which is computationally more challenging to break is put forward. Another crucial development is due to the widespread use of computers and artificial intelligence. It's clear that a strong theoretical background describing the requirements of a secure crypto system is needed. In 1948, Claude Shannon, who is considered the father of modern cryptography, authored a groundbreaking manuscript which changed the way people saw cryptography. He formalized the three goals of modern cryptography secrecy, integrity, and authenticity. A solid theory has been developed for addressing what it means for a cipher to be secure, and it's based on seven principles. These principles gave rise to modern cryptographic algorithms, like DES and Triple DES in 1975, RSA in 1977, AES in 2001, and ECC in 2005, to name just a few. Such modern algorithms are computationally secure. No other theoretical weaknesses make the algorithms less secure for practical purposes. And of course, brute force attacks are not practically feasible. The advent of side channel analysis brings a whole new dimension to cryptanalysis. Even if a device is mathematically secure, their physical implementation can still be exploited. In 1998, Paul Coker, Joshua Jaffe, and Benjamin Yoon from Cryptography Research Inc. analyzed the power consumption of a DES implementation in order to extract the secret key, giving birth to the concepts of simple power analysis and differential power analysis. Their work starts by collecting power traces during the execution of the cryptographic operation, and then either trace operations are examined using SPA, or the traces are statistically analyzed using DPA. In 2001, a new approach exploiting the electromagnetic radiation of electronic devices was proposed. It was found that magnetic fields can unintentionally reveal information about the cryptographic operation, 
in the same way power consumption does, thus enabling side-channel analysis attacks. In 2015, a group of researchers from Newcastle University performed an acoustic attack on Enigma. They exploited the fact that the keyboard of Enigma produces more sound than modern PC keyboards, and all these movements of the internal rotors respond to the key press. Eventually, they managed to break Enigma with a success of 84% just by using a PC and a microphone. Side channel analysis enables us to break passwords without breaking the underlying algorithm.